Hey guys, Aki here and welcome back to the series Free to Play Iron. In the last episode, we finally got ourselves a strength amulet and we got ourselves some holy symbols. In today's episode, we are going to be selling off the symbols, getting some range gear and training our range, and then we are going to be doing some skilling. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy the episode and let's get right into it. Starting things off, we are going to be selling the symbols in the bandit camp shop. I brought about 400 and as I was doing this I noticed I was running into worlds that already had symbols so that means I was uh, overlapping and going to worlds I'd already been in so if I wanted to make as much as possible I'm gonna have to wait a bit uh, for the shops to run out of stock and then I will come back to sell the rest while we're waiting I guess I will go to the Varrock shop and get some arrows for the meantime sweet so here we are uh, we're we're gonna buy 5k iron arrows to start out. I, I thought arrows would be a little bit more expensive, but 5k iron arrows was like not even 10k or something like that. It was it was very cheap. And I think 5k will be enough to get me to where I wanna go for now. And then I can think about getting some different arrows or more in the future. But we got our 5k arrows ready and now we need to go get some gear. So we need the coif and studded. We're starting off with 20, 26 range. Hell yeah, here we go. So we came to Hill Giants to train our range up. And um, I lied. I thought it was we were starting at 26, but we started at 24. And we are coming in with a big old 30 range, unlocking us the Maple Shortbow, which is best in slot for free to play. So that's pretty exciting. The range experience should start to come in pretty quick. And uh, after this, I'm gonna go back to the Bandit Camp and sell off the rest of my symbols. I figure I hopped through all the worlds and didn't even see anyone, so I'm just going to grab them all and risk it for the biscuit, you know? But alright, let's do it. Back at the bandit camp, and we are off to a very good start. We've already got ourselves a little over 40k, which is very nice. It's going to be uh, super helpful for the account. If I was a hardcore, I definitely would not be risking it here, but hopefully we just get lucky, you know? We did just see that one guy, so maybe I should go back after this world or something. I don't know. Let's let's just see. Ten more. And there it is. There's the guy. Oh no. <laughs> what an asshole, dude. This sucks. I mean, I'm the dumbass that brought all the stuff, but you know. <laughs> oh, dude. No. Nope. Oh, man. I hate to be a, a little bit of a spoiler, but closing the door didn't work. Um, uh, looking back, I, I should have like brought some gear to tank a little more, and I feel like I could have got away, honestly. Um, so if you're ever doing this, don't don't come naked, you know. Like bring some gear. You, you probably could get away, cause in free to play, like they got tele block and snare, but other than that, like it's pretty hard to hit on someone. Well, after that setback, we decided just to come back and train range. Uh, we already bought 5k arrows, so we did manage to at least get away with a little bit of the GP the first time. So, I mean, uh, it's, it, it could be worse, right? But uh, we're coming in here with 35 range, and um, I will be back uh, once we get closer to 40, I think. And then we'll go get the green uh, dehyde and that type of stuff for the account. Hell yeah! We got this little random event, and then a hill giant quick here. And we're gonna be coming in with that big old 40 range. It's uh, it's pretty exciting. I mean, we're gonna be getting the best in slot free to play range gear. So, I mean, yeah, I can't complain with that. Would have been nice to have that D hide out there when we were getting freaking destroyed by a PK. <laughs> but here we go, 40 range. Also, I've been saving the clues from the hill giants, and we're gonna open those at the end of the video. So be sure to stick around for that. We about to go buy ourselves the green D hide. Uh, beforehand, I already got the chaps and van braces, so all we need to do is head over to Oziatch, I don't know, something like that, and buy ourselves a green dehyde body. Pretty sure they're like 10k or something. Oh, look at me, I'm going to the wrong shop, what am I doing? Here we go, we gotta figure it out. Slowly but surely, boys, you know? But this is a pretty big moment for the account. Um, <clears throat> getting the full uh, range set unlocked is pretty sweet. I can't believe it's 84k for the rune plate too. Like that's nuts. There we go. Nice 10k for the man. And we are set. Look at that. 
all we need now is a power amulet and we're freaking styling we're styling man like next up i decided to use up more of the arrows and get some more clues at the same time uh, i want to go back to ogres's and train my range up but every time i've went there on other accounts at just 40 it was a little bit slow like you definitely could do it so i'm just going to train to about 45 or something and then head over to ogres's and try and make a little bit of that money back but real quick uh we got a big giant key coming in hell yeah I mean, it's not the first one, I think it's the second one. Alright, so I may have had a little bit of a change of heart, but I, I was also low on uh, teleport cards, so I decided to come to Diango, stock up a, a few more of them, maybe about 75 or something, and I'm also only 48 mining, so I'm gonna round that up to 50 and uh mine some more silver ore and we're, we're gonna head back out there and redeem ourselves man we, we can't let it end like that like we, we gotta have a successful trip out there you know so uh yeah i will be back once we're at the silver ore well bam here we are and uh we're like a silver ore away from 50 mining we just busted it out it i uh, know didn't even take an hour it was actually pretty quick um I did this pretty late at night too, so there wasn't a lot of competition. But yeah, now time to smith. We busted the symbols out. It was only about another 400, so I mean, I lost like 15 or 1600, so it's not quite what I what I originally mined. But we got the dehyde, we got a little more food. I think we should be able to tank a PK if we need to. And uh, yeah, mission success. We're definitely gonna be able to make a little bit of that money back. So we finished off selling the symbols. Unfortunately, it was only 36k, but I mean, hey, we'll take it. It was a little bit of extra money, and uh, now we are back at Ogres's. We got to 45 range, and we're gonna get to 50 here. Um, we're just about to come in with 46 range, so this is our first little inventory here, and we've already got a rune battle axe drop. So, I mean, this is more profitable than doing that for sure. So, I definitely should just came here. But I mean, oh well, we, we had a little fun and I will be back once we are closer to 50. Here we go. Got a 50 range coming in hot. And just look at that inventory, man. Look at all those law runes. I mean, not really the cosmics, but we got two rune battle axes, another rune full helm, two rune med helms. I mean, like, holy crap. Those rubies are gonna be super useful later on too. So uh, very nice to get those drops as well going to be very useful for smithing later on anyway so i mean yeah definitely got no complaints with that get a little bit of crafting experience too. get closer to that power amulet look at that big sevens and 50 range let's go if we remember we could wear blue but we're we're, we're sticking free to play all right real quick i just wanted to go over the loot that we got from ogres's so the tab's saying that we got 389k which I mean, it's pretty nice just for five levels um, and also being free to play. Uh, we got 400 chaos runes, 350 gnats, like definitely gonna be some useful stuff for later on. I uh, also reorganized the bank. So uh, yeah, hopefully that helps some of you guys out who might want to uh, find some inspiration for your own messy bank because mine was getting just out of hand. And uh, yeah, um, as you've seen the 20 caskets in there, that is what we are going to open up next, so I will be right back. Finally it's time. I've been saving these for, I mean, not that long really. Beginner clues are fairly easy to get. But our collection log, we only opened one so far, we already got one unique. So let's hopefully we can keep that luck up. Uh, I really want to get some of the boots so that I have a little bit more fashion skate. But yeah, let's do it. Ooh, well, a steel axe, actually, that's not bad, because I haven't done woodcutting. Oh, another one? All right, I mean, I, it, we'll take it, we'll take it, right? Let's see what else. Oh, man. <laughs> I, I mean, chaos runes, that's, that's not bad. Some law runes, hey, hey, we'll take it, we'll take it. Oh, my God, just a longbow? <laughs> Woo. It's okay, they're, they're going to give us something good. Yeah, <laughs> something good. I, I don't know what to say. Oh, there we go. Finally, our, our second unique on the account. It's funny, I say finally, but I'm only nine clues in. <laughs> Come on, can we get one more? Let's do it. Down to eight. Come on, come on. 
Ooh, I mean, hey, that's actually worth like 2k. Oh, no way. We got the freaking parrot, man. Let's go. That's freaking sick, man. That's got to be it, though, you know? Like, two uniques out of 20. Another longbow. I mean, <laughs> it's to be expected, I guess. Two more to go. One more. Do we get lucky on it? Maybe? Come on. Ah, oh, just some fire runes. That's... Oh, well. We did good. We did good. That, that was awesome. All right, boys. We, uh... We got three out of 16 on the collection log now, so we, we're making a, some pretty good progress, you know, we got we got a long way to go. But uh, this is where I'm going to end the episode for this week, and uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Peace out!